What is up, ninjas? My name is Sam World, and lately I've been focusing more on sound design and music production, so expect a lot of sound design tutorials in the coming weeks. If you guys have any requests for sounds and techno or tech house, you can also leave them down in the comments below, and I'll see if I make a video or an Instagram reel on it. With that being said, today we're going to focus on techno based one shots that are going to, best way to describe them is womp, womp. You know, usually you hear them in a techno song as an additive element to keep things interesting under an epic melody and a big thumping dun, 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 kick. With that being said, if you want to support the channel, guys, make sure to head over to evilsounds.com. I just released Paradox Volume 2, 140 Serum Presets for Modern Techno. Paradox Series has been my second best-selling sound bank. Of course, the first one is Deceiver. Uh, but again, guys, thank you guys so much for the support. And if you enjoy it, all the best. With that being said, let's get straight into this video. When it comes to making techno based one shots, the easiest way, and honestly, it's always the best way because less points of error, is to utilize wavetables inside of Serum, which of course is a wavetable synthesizer. But you want to find wavetables that are going to sound nice and gradual. Like for instance, that one could be a really dope techno based one shot. I know it sounds a little dubstepy for some of you guys, but of course, I see the vision and you should too. So what we're going to do is let's say we like this one. And again, you're going to have a bunch of wavetables inside of Serum. And if you buy Soundbank, sometimes you are supplied by some but from other companies, vice versa, which you can collect over the years and do a lot of cool stuff with them. And I'm sure there's some great ones in there. But you want to find one that's good. I'm gonna, And then from there, you're going to use an LFO that's just going to change over time. You want to use it in envelope mode. So it only happens once. And from there, just choose your desired speed on it. Now, personally, me, I like one bar techno based one shot, so it's more gradual. Okay, from there, you can kind of audition and find a really good spot that you like. So that one sounds promising if we can get it to sound a certain way. Okay, so that's a little better. From there, if this, let's say this is like the simplest, simplest way, you just put reverb delay. You, you know, it ain't techno with a good old plate of chicken, as that's what I say, or a good old plate of reverb. And then we just kind of go put a bit there, there. Um, Okay, and it sounds kind of technical already, but to some people it's too dubstepy, of course, and I get that. But this is the simplest way you can go about it. Find a wavetable, you know, and again. Okay, now from here, we can make it less dubstepy, of course, by utilizing subtractive synthesis or just putting a damn filter. I swear they got terms to make you sound smart when you can just say just put a filter on its end and we're just gonna apply a cutoff there maybe a little bit of resonance and it can did you kind of get rid of the dubs vibe on it and you start to get more techno -y with it now of course you, you know we're using spectral wavetables and some people might say why don't you use fm send well in digital section you're gonna have a lot of fm based wavetables okay and what that means is that a lot of these wavetables were made with FM. For instance, the add second is two sine waves, you know, effing each other through FM, frequency modulation. And there you go. Okay, now the cool thing about this here, and we're gonna go with a more FM-y FM sound, like a sign in the saw had a baby, a lot more powerful, is that we can start to make really cool shots. This is gradual utilizing a triangle, but we can make very nasty shots. Let's go here with this guy and utilizing the filter and the resonance there you start to get analog seems I feel like 60 with gray hair in my ass so uh, yeah so you can do a lot of cool stuff base one shot like like so or gradual okay now from here let's see we'll find what the fuck was that? All right. There we go. Let's assume that you want this to sound wide. The only thing is add to unison, lower detune. And there you go. You get wide. You can detune if you want. And that's going to make it sound a little bit more swampy like my butt right now and whatnot. But you get the idea of it. Now, from here, you might decide, yo, said I want to distort. By all means, do it. But then you get something that sounds like this. And you're like, okay, I like that, but then I still want to maintain that nice kind of gradualness to it. Well, okay, use a pulse filter. That's going to be filter applied after distortion. And there you go, that. So these are kind of clutch things that sound very simple, but this is what separates the newbie pros, whatever you want to call it, from the avid... What the fuck am I saying? You get the idea, newbie to pro. You do really cool... 
kind of like shots like so and just be gradual you can even gradually apply the distortion if you want and we'll go harder okay and then a bit of resonance not high so as you can see there's a lot of different variations that you can do again two voices one voice and whatnot and then just And again, some of these you can tell they, they're kind of not sounding that good because, and that's because you just got to find the way you want to do it. There we go. That's a lot better. Let's get rid of this story. There we go. This one's really cool and I know it. The I can has kick. Man, this one sounds a lot better when it's gradual. And you've probably heard that a dozen times in the techno song. So you get the idea there of the FM now. We're going to initialize this because I know there's going to be people going like, I want to take the hard way. My dad always told me, take the hard way, son. And if you want to, then that's totally fine. And from there, you have other options as well. Uh, you can start to FM. So we can use two sine waves and do FM. And again, you're going to find wavetables in Serum that do the exact same sound as you can already hear. But from there with FM, you can have different ratios, FM ratios. Zero to zero is, of course, you know, one because it's one to one ratio. They're at the same octave. You know, one to two, one to three, higher octave on this guy that's going to be getting uh, put into the FM, higher upper harmonics, and the less low end you're going to have. So just keep that in mind. But from there, you can put an LFO on this guy. And of course, you can make the more generic bass wubs. If that's what you want, just delay, reverb, you know the trick. It ain't, it ain't um, techno with a good old plate of German food. And there we go. We get more of the traditional ones. But the cool thing here is you can definitely... You know, that's the beautiful thing with sound design. If you want to get complex, you can. Because then the other thing you can also do is that you can start to utilize the wave shaping features of Serum, which can be found in the warp section here. For instance, I could put a Ben Plus. That changes this over time. Let's be more gradual, one-fourth with it. And from there, just kind of mess around with that. And it's, again, the same theory as when utilizing wavetable. And the cool thing about this is you can definitely start to kind of experiment more if that's what you want to kind of get unique sounding ones that maybe you've never heard before. You know, like that one sounds really dark and cool. Now, I want to show you guys another very clutch trick, okay? And this is going to be one that I, I would honestly see in a paid course and be like, you know, you got to pay for this one. But, of course, you know how I am, guys. The fact that you guys support my sound mix is enough for me to just be doing information like this for free. So what I'm going to do is utilize an LFO envelope one bar now the cool thing here is that we can route this to the fine alt shift click in fact yeah i'll shift click and then when we play this you can kind of see how it sounds a little dark now we do have to put a little bit of makeup to the sound because it sounds wimpy right now so you know the deal a good old plate never fails in techno ping pong it okay and kind of get the idea there let's go a little louder if we can and you get this sort of darkness to it, which I really like. Now we can hold Alt Shift Click and make this bipolar so it goes from negative one to plus one. Okay, and you get the idea there. Some very dark sounds. This is something I learned recently in a cinematic kind of tutorial for sounds and stuff, but I never thought of it like that to utilize it in that sense, but really cool uh, effect. So we've talked about applying distortion and all that. Now, of course, there's a lot more that we can do, like applying chorus, phaser, and flanger. The thing I'll say with these sounds is just know what you're doing with them. If you're just putting them because you're like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing and I just want the sound to sound different, then yeah. But if you're like, I want to put a flanger to get that effect, then that's cool. If you want to put the flanger at the end of the tail so that the reverb gets the effect, that's the best way to do it because you still hear the flanger taking effect as it does that. Okay, so with that being said, guys, this is the simplest way to make these techno based one shots. I have made a video on more dedicated drum code based one shots if you want to check that out. But it's as simple as it gets like so. The theory behind it is sounds that change over time. Pick your desired speed. Now, the last thing I'll say is, of course, you know, we just messed around with these filters. There's a lot more that we can do. For instance, if you use a bandpass uh, with a saw, you can definitely get stuff that sounds cool. As long as stuff is changing over time, that is going to be the important thing to execute. Uh, for these kind of sounds and all honestly something as simple as a saw getting distorted with reverb and delay is enough to get even like a good bass one shot for techno from there you can apply more resonance 
okay? But the important thing is as you make these bass one shots, you're going to hear when you do certain things, certain sounds, you're like, I've heard this before, etc. And whenever you want to remake it, you're going to remember how you made it. That is a beautiful thing about sound design, guys. Learn the theory, but at the same time, practice so that you can always go, I remember making a sound like that, and I did it this way, this way. You guys take care. I'll catch you guys next time for another video, and peace out.